Welcome to Bill's Bridge Class, Class 24, the One No Trump Overcall and Balancing, Monday, April 29th, 2013. What is the criteria for a One No Trump Overcall? Almost identical to the opening bit of One No Trump, except there's a little wider range, 15 to 18 points, if you're in the immediate seat, but a varying number of points in the balancing seat, depending on the suit that the opener opened. We'll get into that in a minute. And of course, you need a stopper in the opponent's suit. If you open one no trump with a suit open as an opening bid, that's all right because they don't know what the suit is. But when the opponent's open with a suit, that's the most likely suit they'll be leading if you're playing no trump. If you have a little more than enough strength for a one no trump overcall, instead plan on doubling and then bidding no trump. And that varies also depending on the suit that's open. Let's talk a little bit about the balancing seat. To new bridge players, this is somewhat new and it's more important in duplicate play than in regular rubber bridge playing. If the opener's bid is followed by two passes, the person whose turn it is to bid next is called the pass out seat. If you pass, that's the end of the auction and the play begins. In duplicate, the pass out bidder is going to stretch to bid. The reason is pretty obvious. Opener's partner has shown weakness. He couldn't even re respond, so he probably has less than six points. And opener did not open with a demand bid, so he is also limited. Therefore, partner has to have some values and you should be competitive. Partner is also sitting over the opener. What is strange in this situation is the less you have the more likely your partner has more and he is sitting over the opener. Which of course means if there's any finessing situation to be had uh, is to be in your advantage. The pass out seat principle. And this is a general rule and doesn't apply all the time in all hands but it's a good general rule. If you choose to overcall or double or bid a no trump or any other bid in the pass out seat, add about three points to your hand and then bid accordingly. The idea is that you're expecting partner to have a little more because you know that the partner, the opener's partner is weak. On the flip side of that, partner when he responds to your balancing bid should subtract about three points before responding. This all sounds a little strange to the newbie but it works out in real practice. Experienced players adjust the requirements of the one no trump reopening bid as follows. Let's suppose the bidding goes one club, pass, pass, and you're in the pass out seat. One no trump, about 11 to 14 points. If it's a diamond, 12 to 15 at one point increments. They also have a three point range, 12 to 15 for diamonds, 13 to 16 for hearts, and 14 to 17 for spades. Not all partnerships do that. They may just uh, have a round number like 12 to 15 or 16. Work it out with your partner, but this is a good general adoption. Note the increment of one point per suit, and the range is three points instead of two for the regular no trump opener. If you want to bid no trump and you're stronger than this, double first, and here's how it would work. Here's how it would work after a double. Take out double, followed by a no trump over partner's minimum bid. No trump rebid is after a club. You show them 15 to 17. After a diamond, 16 to 18. After a heart, 17 to 19. And after a spade, 18 to 20. Notice the range is one point more than the last screen, and it also is a three point range. 
partner of the overcaller. Most partnerships play systems on. Just pretend your partner opened one notro. You need to adjust the point ranges because your partner shows a little different strength than he would in a standard no trump, but all the conventions are on. Bid as though partner had opened one no trump and see the one no trump response structure. We're not going to get into all of this at this point. We'll get into it a little bit later, but raise to the appropriate level based on points or use Stamen or Jacoby transfer, which we're going to cover in other classes down the road. Tomorrow, Class 25, Michael's Qubit and the Unusual No Trump, Standard Approaches to Two-Suited Hands. See you Tuesday.